Dream Team, it's your boy D Neil back with another reaction video, guys. Here we are with Swift and Shift Couriers Season 2, Episode 1. Before we dive in, make sure you subscribe, ring notification bell, get a video a thumbs up so it gets suggested. Let's hop right in. RIP to my guy, man. Absolute legend. So sad that he's gone, man. Leonard, can you give me a common line to all the drivers, please? Okay, drivers, it's Keith here. Now, I want you to know that head office are looking to cut more staff. So if you want to keep your jobs, I'd suggest no lateness. Well, you're dumping on Lula. No theft. No accidents. <laughs> no stuff ups of any kind. This is a foot bar. Use the road, I got it. Because the next fuck up you make could be your last. Ooh. Okay, everyone, listen up. I've just been on the phone to head office, and they want everyone to reapply for their positions. Well, that's fucking stupid. Why? Probably more cutbacks. Renzo, draw me up a roster for the interviews, will you? Do I have to? The doctor said I should avoid stressful situations. Oh. I'm Amanda Doyle. Really? Where? Get from a wide... Hey, Agro Man, I'm just wondering, uh, you know, when you can hook me up with some more of that knocked off fuel, mate. You got any from your bike, mate? <laughs> or what? Excuse me. Hang on, mate. I am looking for Keith Warren. Keith. Thank you. Hey. Are you there? No, listen, sorry, Mario, but um, my connection had to go away for three years rather urgently, but um, I came by a pallet of Christmas trees, should you need one. It's February, man. What am I going to do with that? Boy. Oh, day. That's tough. Uh, hey. <gasps> Take the shoe off. Fucking hell! Oh, fucking shit! Ain't done for. Come back, you asshole! Hey, hello! <laughs> Got you. Hey. Oh, that, that's a real one. What? You think you can fool me, huh? Stick the other one in your ass, you miserable prick. <laughs> Slum dog, DK. <laughs> Slum dog, your mother's ass, you miserable prick. Hello, Mario. Jimmy, mate. Go come back to base and we ruin you for the job, mate. Jim, I have no idea what you're talking about, man. Can you get one of the other dispatches to, like, you know, buzz me back with this message, whatever it is? Mate, <laughs> you better look out. There's a parking cop a booking everyone. Yeah, thanks, mate. This place is going to the shitty ass. I'm sick and tired of the driver saying they can't understand me. I think I'm a fucking clear what you just said, mate. Ah, <laughs> oh, fucking forget it. <laughs> Excuse me, I am looking for Keith Warren. I'm Keith Warren. I am here to interview your workers. We will start this interview by you telling me what you do here. I work here. 
I work me. here. I think I left my mobile here. Can you explain to me in complete detail about your working method? Listen, if you're gonna sack me, bloody do it! I don't know why you're going with all that bullshit anyway. Day, day, okay. day. You're up next, mate. Amanda Doyle, regional manager speaking. Amanda, are these interviews really necessary? I mean, if you want to cut staff, just give me the numbers and we can work it out. Keith, I would not be questioning upper management. This has come directly from Jonathan the MD. So if I was you, I'd just shut up. I'd just Put your shorts in a shut twist. Shut up. That ball breaking bitch is up to something. Guys, the tuck truck's here. Oh, terrific! <laughs> Just try and sack me, mate, and I'll sue this company's ass. I will not be sacking you. All I need is a little bit of information from you. A little bit of information? Are you taking the piss out of me? He met her at the bus stop on the opposite day. She had a one way ticket for the opposite way. He said, You want to walk instead? She said, Yeah, okay. She didn't normally like the walk, but she walked this way. Hey, Il, is Melissa back in the phone room? Oh, yeah, they made her sales job redundant. Are they really doing cutbacks or, like, what? They're just saying that to stop us bludging in that. No, Mario, it's for real. They've already got rid of one of those Maori guys. Oh. And then they sack that dickhead, Karen. This is only my first week Dang. in the management position. That's hey, what tough. Happened? Yeah. Oh, didn't you hear about that? Oh, heads. Oh. Now, what happened? Well, she got so drunk at Karen's farewell party, she ended up doing some massive strip tease for uh, Keith. What, the whole no. shaboo? Yeah, the whole shaboo. Oh, that wasn't in your resume. They caught it all on Keith's office security tape, so head office made him fire her, even though he loved it. Hey, Mario, Dang. stop fucking around and get upstairs. That is crazy. <laughs> that is crazy, crazy, crazy. It is. you a million times don't do that they break swift and shift hey. Hey, look. Mm. how the bloody hell did this happen oh just gravity i think bro well look <laughs> just gravity i think bro <laughs> get it fixed head mm. officer looking to sack people you know and this is the sort of thing that'll give them the perfect excuse hey uh, melissa you're back here, just like when we used to go out together. You look as good as them. Oh, that's because she's not wearing the uniform that everyone else has to wear. Oh, get fucked, Jan. They don't have my size. You yeah, don't wear them shirts. You look cheap like them. Excuse me, we are not finished yet. Could you please wait outside? Okay, Mr. Spooner. I am afraid I have not understood most of what you have said. Maybe you can understand this. Oh! How was your holiday, bro? Yeah, and no, I was good, man. Um, did you end up getting a replacement for Luigi yet? Yeah, Abdul's cousin's coming in for an interview. Oh, not the dickhead with the green van. The one who likes fat chicks. Down upside or like, is this like an Arabic? Yes, it's upside down. That's George's fault. Sit down, Mr. Gucci. Oh, shit! Yeah. The chair <laughs> broke! That must have yeah. been the last fellow. Mm -hmm. He was quite large, you know. <laughs> Excuse me, I have to take this call. Would you please wait outside? Hello, Miss Doyle. So, are you getting what you need? Well, the staff here is quite unhelpful and rather bizarre. But 
I am getting the breakdown of what they do and how they do it. Okay. Look, just be here at two so we can discuss the details. Yes, Miss Doyle. <laughs> Hello, Damien speaking. Well, how are the numbers? It's really going really well. Look, look Amanda, uh, I've got to go. I'm looking at a really promising potential recruit, OK? Yeah, bye. Um, you, mate, are you interested in a job? A job driving in, in Australia? In, you know, Australia, like the kangaroo, Australia. Oh, my God. Hello? Keith, Jonathan from head office. Oh, hello. I'm going to need you to come in at 3 o'clock today. Uh-oh. Would this have something to do with the staff reapplying for their jobs? If that's happening, it must be Amanda's initiative. Dang. Just be in my office at 3, OK? Amanda out here lying, dawg. You thought we weren't going to catch you, Amanda? You, you, thought, you thought my boy Keith... Oh, we got you now. Keith, bro, Abdul's cousin's here for the driver job. Oh, tell him to wait in the dock until my office is free. You can tell him yourself. He's here. Anthony, piss off. Don't you want your coffee? As a driver, what goal do you wish to achieve working here? The blonde in the phone room. Melissa, you know the hot <coughs> it's hot? Hey, who fucking put this on my desk? I'd like to get back into her pants. That would be my goal. How do you communicate with other staff members? Can you speak? Tell me about your work. Well, I've just been transferred to HR, where I have to put up with all the whingers who are constantly <coughs> pissing and <coughs> moaning about the most <coughs> insignificant <coughs> shit. Which one of you is the driver? I'm a driver. You are no driver. I am you the driver. You have no driver. idea how Forget to drive. Skills do you have? My uncle owns the company. I see. How do you operate your equipment? It's just a phone. I just pick it up and say... Hello, Swift and Shift Couriers. Hello. It's Fernando here. Would you like to come to my place after work? There's been a bit of shit here at work today. I might be a little bit late. Hold on a sec. Your courier, the, the stinky one, he's here. You got a pickup for Roseville? <clears throat> Hold on. Did you do the interview, hey, babe? Not yet, like, but hey, like, do you know, like, the big sexy girl that works the phones, like Doreen, yeah? Somebody call my name. Like, does she have a boyfriend? Oh, my God. Ah, shit. Hey, bro. Like me. You reckon you can give us a hand? Hang on, mate. What do you mean you're leaving? Half the drivers are on their way in. I have completed what your head office asked me to do. I won't need to see them. Yeah, it's base three and a half here, Mario. Yeah, made a complaint has come in about that job that you did in the city this morning. Mario stole one of the client's phones. Can't you just fill out, like, a lost or missing form? You heard what Keith said this morning. Return the phone, Mario! Yo, thanks for nothing, you little tic-tac, mate. Fucking asshole! That dickhead! Aw, oh, dang. Come on, Mario. Yeah, nah, still, yeah, save us some ice blocks. Oh, what shit? He got him. He got him. He got him. Now, come on, Mario was too close. He was gonna reach out and grab him. He was too close to that. He would've got him. He would've got him. Oh I my god. Oh, 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 oh. Shit! God dang. Oh, hey, boys, you're too late. That's the fella you had to see over there. Oh my god. I've got to go into head office. Renzo, call the other drivers, tell them they don't have to come in, and I'll need you to interview Abdul's cousin for me, all right? Um, Keith, this interview. Is it likely to be stressful? Oh, yeah. Keith! Abdul's cousin was pervert on me. Oh, look, I'm on my way out. Go and see Murray in HR. He told me to see you. <laughs> hey, Ma! 
Mark and Mike, get back on the road. They don't need to interview you. Yeah, we know. We're just helping fix the sign. But I told JJ and Kev to do that. Where are they? Of course. <laughs> Sweet boo. Oh, shit. Uh, listen, uh, mate, Cobber. Well, who, me? You go and see Renzo. He'll do your interview. Catch you later. <laughs> <laughs> I'm from Swift and Shift 2, mate. See that guy over there? He knocked off some stock. What? You gotta chase him for me, all right? Chase him. Go, follow, follow. Base three and a half, Jackie. Listen, mate. You don't need to come in, because the interview's got cancelled. Huh? Need Dong Ma? Don't worry, man. I'll, I'll tell him. What are you speaking Chinese for? <laughs> Wait. Go, 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 go. go. Why the fuck is Mario in Jackie's van? OK. My name's Renzo. Do you have any references? Yeah, like, of course I do. Heaps, but don't, like, don't worry. Listen, I heard, like, your wife, she's the hot one in the phone area. True? What? True or not, beep the hot. Is it just me, or is it getting bloody hot in here? Um, I think I'm going to get a colleague to finish this interview. There you go. I think you made the best choice, Renzo. You made the best choice. Hashfield HR. Hi, it's Renzo. As you know, I have a doctor's certificate which states I'm to avoid all stressful situations. This interview is really stressing me out. You're a fucking sook, Renzo. Can you do it? The GBS says, go straight ahead. You're a stooge, mate. Can't you believe it? Oh, 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 so, Keith believed what you told him? Yes, I think so. OK, so now you've seen how the depot runs on the ground. Can you organise the communication centre in India? Yes, most certainly. In fact, I will place a call to my cousin in Mumbai right now and get you the cost per call for you to compare with your existing workers. Hello, International Communications, Mumbai office. This is Vijay's cousin from Australia. Could you put me through, please? Before I do, would you be interested in a new mobile phone by any chance? I'm not a guy like this. Vijay, who is your company's owner, is my brother. Get him on the phone. Hey, Mario! Come here, you stupid idiot! What are you doing? Uh, Keith Warne to see the managing director. Keith, take a seat over there. Oh, sorry. Hello. Keith, I'm a bit iffy about this new bloke. He's made a few remarks about Renzo's wife. <laughs> hey, put that down. Murray, I'm with the managing director. Tell him to wait. I'll call you back. Said to wait. Look, is this for sale? Uh, Keith, I've called you in here to congratulate you on getting productivity up after all the staff cuts. Oh, oh really? Thank you. Thanks. Well, that's the good news. The bad well, news the bad is news. all the problems listed in this latest report from Amanda. Problems? Mate, according to this report, you have some real hygiene issues at Hashfield. Green deeper, girls. Oh! <laughs> Oh and the stats here say that 10% of everything your drivers touched was either damaged or destroyed. Oh, Apple, Apple, give me this 
give me, just give me, just fucking just give me a chance. Murray, you fuck with. What are you doing? I'll get you. Piss off. I need my trolley. I've got to stop back, man. You know that stupid shit? Who the fuck are you? I kill him. You want to kill Mario? Oh my god. And this morning, I got an email from WorkCover saying they want to investigate safety issues at Hashfield. Oh, but you oh, know, Dave. WorkCover, they tend to exaggerate. In my opinion, safety, generally speaking, has improved. Hurry up, boys. I'm getting dizzy from my fears at lunch. Keep backing up. Go, go, go. Hurry up. Here, take it, man. Reach out. Pass it. Oh, my God. Amanda has recommended God, that I dang. let you go. But she's a woman. I was probably suffering PMS when she wrote this report. And you know what? I like you. You remind me of my pop. Before we put him in the home. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to give you 12 months to improve Hashfield across the board. Oh, and by the way, how's my nephew George going? Oh, fine, fine. George, you dick! Hmm? Get up the ladder and fix the sign! Hey, don't hit my head, you fish and chip. Hey. Yeah. Hey. Did you just call me a fish and chip? Yeah, he did. Yeah. Amanda, Jonathan, I'll see you now. Hello? Keith. I've still got Habib here. What do you want me to do with him? My name's Habib Yule. Yeah, well, look, we're short a driver. Put him on a two-week contract. Yes, Amanda, you wanted to see me. Look, I know you weren't happy with my overall performance last year. But Jonathan, what would you say if I told you that I could halve the running costs for all the depots across the state? Well, I'm listening. Let me show you the future of Swift and Shift. Hello, Damien. Can you hear me? Hi, Amanda. How are things in sunny India? Well, it's great. It's really great. I have all the drivers right here and we're all keen to make a go of it. Wave, boys. Imagine Australian depots with workers from the third world. These blokes here cost less than half of what Australian staff cost. Oh, Dave. Oh, Would you like a job as a courier driver driving in Australia? Hello. Dang, they would work for a lot less, dog. I've been watching videos on India and like, this. I've been seeing the, the, the money that they grind and hustle and work for, I'm like, I don't even know Hi, Swift and Shift Couriers. Swift and Shift Couriers. We use an Indian call centre to take all our bookings. That costs one third of what Australian workers cost. And Damon will be in Mumbai supervising the entire operation. So, Indian drivers here mm -hmm. and the call centre in India. Telstra has been outsourcing for years and look at their profits. Swift and Shift exporting jobs all over the world. In theory, it sounds bloody great. You know, if this comes off, there'll be a promotion in this for you. Just promise me that if this succeeds, you'll fire Keith Warren. <laughs> yeah, Murray, what now? Keith, that new driver's just groped Renzo's wife. Oh, my God. She asked for it. That's what she wanted. She wanted it. She asked for it. Renzo, hit him, will ya? He didn't grope at me. You should hit him. You should hear them. A double scotch, neat. Thanks. Thank you. Piss up, mate! Give me the phone back! It doesn't even have a SIM card! I can lose my fucking job! It doesn't even have a SIM card! You slow it down, dickhead! Uh, oh my god!
die. That was awesome. Oh, you wanna have a go? No! Thank you. Bad day at the office? Mate, I think it's gonna be a bad year. Yeah, it Another is. Another double. Yeah, it is. What do you want? I don't care. It's gonna be an awful year. That's how we got y'all. Make sure y'all subscribe, ring notification bell, give the video a thumbs up. Shibuya Dinia, out.